So I had a viewer contact me about his uh, 3D printer Arduino motherboard uh, doing a similar thing to what happened to my motherboard in the uh, reflashing video. Um, he flashed it and it didn't take and he, now he just gets uh, two white lines across it. But he has a USB ASP, this right here, and he wanted to know if he could flash his Arduino based motherboard with a USB ASP and the answer is yes you can. You just have to ensure the pins on the ASP cable are connected up correctly. This is a picture of the MPX version 3 main board or motherboard and this right here is the ICSP connector which you would use to reflash your bootloader. So I drafted up a pin out of the MPX3 motherboard and you can see here there's a small little one stamped on the motherboard. This is pin one right there. And then I documented which pins are which. The MISO, the set clock, the reset, the ground, MOSI, and the VCC. This right here is your pins. Pin one is MISO, pin two is VCC or plus five, pin three is SCK or set clock, pin four is MOSI, pin five is reset, and pin six is ground. On all Arduinos, the ICSP jumpers are the same, pin one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have a USB ASP. This is the first time I've plugged it into my Windows 10, and you see it comes up with a exclamation mark. If you go update driver, search automatically, it will not find the driver for this. Windows cannot find drivers for your device. So without drivers, it's not gonna work. Do a search for Zadig. This is a utility which installs USB drivers for your USB ASP. Plug your USB ASP into your USB cable and it will detect if any drivers are loaded, open up your Zadig uh, driver installation. And if there's nothing in this dropdown, go to options, list all devices, select the USB ASP. And then you want the lib USB K drivers and it's either install driver or replace driver. Then it'll say driver was successfully installed. Unplug your USB ASP. You will need to hook cables up. If you don't have a 10 pin adapter to six pin adapter for ICSP connectors, like an ICSP 10 to an ISP six connector, then you're gonna have to use like the jumper wires and you have to be careful and hook these up correctly. You'll see here the cable has this little nub right here on the top. That means this one right here to the left of it is pin one. This down here is pin two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Odd are on the top with this nub, even pins are on the bottom. So you have to hook this up correctly six wires to the IS, ISP6 connector on your Arduino Nano. Here's a picture of the 10 pin connector to the six pin connector. That's where the wires will go to. Once you have your wires hooked up correctly, I mean double check that you have your wires hooked up correctly, connect the cable up I mean, you can connect it directly to these, but if it comes with this and you only have uh, male to female jumper wires like I do, then you'll have to use this cable. But hook up your cables and your Arduino Nano and plug in your USB ASP. You see a light there and you'll see a light on this. 
You can disregard all these wires on my Arduino Nano. This is the Arduino Nano that I use for flashing bootloaders onto uh, new Arduinos that I have. So disregard this. Start your Arduino IDE. Once your Arduino IDE opens up, go to Tools, select the target the target Arduino that you're going to flash, like an Arduino Nano. If you're flashing an Arduino Mega, then select your Mega. If you're flashing an Arduino Nano, select the Arduino Nano. It doesn't really matter what COM you're on. Uh, the programmer, you'll use a USB ASP and click burn bootloader and it'll say it's done burning so that is how you can burn an Arduino Nano bootloader using a USB ASP